Hey guys, it's Froggy. I just wanted to make a video showing you guys all of my favorite things that I've been loving in the month of March. Let's get started then. I'll jump right in. Um, my most recent purchase and favorite thing that I have gotten, I guess I got two things. Um, I got this Too Faced Matte Eyeshadow Palette and uh, I thought for winter that it was just nice to kind of go with less glittery makeup. Um, we're going into spring now, so this will probably just get tucked away until next winter, but it was fun for those few months. Um, along with the matte eyeshadow, <laughs> hello, I got this matte blush. This is Dollface by Tarte, and it's what I'm wearing right now, and I really, really like this one. Oh, can I show you the mirror? You'll see your reflection. Do you see yourselves? <laughs> so this one is really nice. Um, again, like for winter, it was just really nice to be able to wear less glittery makeup because I think that's kind of more of a spring and summer thing to have glitter. Um, I am wearing a little bit of glitter in my bronzer, which also I am loving. Um, I couldn't find a matte shade of bronzer that I was really happy with, so... I've been using this one. I do like it. I think it is more for spring or summer. So hopefully for next winter they'll come out with something that's really nice. That's matte. Um, this is Baked Bronzer for face and body. Ooh, gilded. And that's all it says. Baked Bronzer by Urban Decay. Loving that. So those are my makeup favorites. Um, another thing I've been really digging is the Bath & Body Works Kabuki Brush. It's really soft and blends out nicely. I prefer this one over the one that has like a stick, <laughs> like a stick brush. I don't know. So this one's cool. Digging that. This one I think I showed before in a different video, but my Too Faced palette, and it does have a bronzer in it. It has this matte bronzer that comes inside of it. It's a little too orange or something when it's on. It's not brown enough so that's it but this highlighter I love this highlighter I could I put some on but it would screw stuff up because <laughs> I can't see but I like to put it just right here just to kind of look sun-kissed so I enjoy that um, as far as the eyeshadows go I do have oh, oh. right now I'm wearing this one on my eyelid and this one up in the crease and then I'm wearing this one as just like a brow highlighter and then I just have eyeliner and mascara on. So if you want to recreate this look, this is what I used to make it. <laughs> um, I had purchased this face lotion from Target. It is their brand, the Up and Up brand. I like it because it does not have alcohol in it. A lot of face lotions do have alcohol and I've been trying to avoid it in most of my products. Um, the next couple things I'm gonna show you do have alcohol in them, but it's really hard to get totally natural, organic beauty products. So I just kind of have to get what's available, but it drives me crazy because I'm always on the hunt for products that don't have alcohol in them. So if you guys find any, let me know. I want face wash with no alcohol, shampoo with no alcohol, condition with no, conditioner with no alcohol. Um, I've been loving this Tea Tree and Mint by Organics shampoo. It does have alcohol. My scalp does not like it, but I like the smell. Mm, yeah, I like the mint in it. You can't really smell the tea tree oil. Mostly just the mint on this one. But the mint is like soothing to me, so I enjoy that. And then I have the conditioner to go along with it. I've been using those as my regular shampoos just because I really haven't found anything that I'm that happy with. Um, oh, I guess this is actually my most recent purchase. Uh, so this is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Skin Brightening Daily Scrub with Moisture Rich Soy Extract and Dental Microbeads. And it does have like really gentle microbeads inside it. The sand or whatever is just really fine grained and I enjoy that because I have tried other exfoliators that are just uh, really <laughs> too rough on the skin. This one's nice. It has like a light smell. I want to describe it as floral, but I think that's how you'd describe everything. I don't know. It just smells nice. Nice, subtle smell to that. And this OPI base coat, I want to, or top coat, sorry. I wanted to show you guys this. Uh, I got this downtown and they actually charge about half the price downtown in downtown Los Angeles as they do in all the rest of the stores. So this was a super good buy. 
and it's my favorite top coat out of all of them. This one I think has the longest wear, um, goes on the smoothest, so definitely if you're looking for a top coat, do the OPI. And uh, we've already come to the last item I have here for my March favorites. This is the Dove Dry Shampoo. It's the only one I've tried, so I really can't say it works better or worse than anything else, but I do enjoy using this. Like if you take it and you lift up your hair, you spray it on your roots, and then it kind of gives you volume and usually just good for like second day, maybe third day hair, but at that point, it's kind of hard to get the grease to go away, but this definitely helps with that. I take it, I just spray it on and brush it through and then it dries. And once it's dry, it's like less greasy hair and more volume. So I've been digging that. Um, those are all the things that I've been liking for March. So I thought I would share them with you. If you guys have any products that you've been loving, just let me know in the comments down below. And also if there's anything you'd like to see me do for my next video, let me know. So make sure to subscribe and like this video, and I appreciate that you guys took the time to watch it. I'll see you next time. Bye!